Hello everyone, I am Adrija. Welcome to my study room. In this video, we are going to start the exercise 8.1 of class 10 trigonometry. In the previous video, we discussed about what is trigonometry, what are trigonometric ratios and in this video, we are going to start with exercise 8.1. So let's begin. Let's begin with the first question of exercise 8.1. In triangle ABC, this is the triangle ABC, right angled at B, right angle at B, AB is equal to 24 centimeter and BC is equal to 7 centimeter. Determine number 1 sin A cos A, number 2 sin C cos C. So first what is number 1? Sin A and cos A. So over here we are going to find it with respect to angle A. Right? So over here with respect to angle A, which is the side opposite to angle A? Which is the side opposite to angle A? It is BC. Right? It is the side opposite to angle A. And BC is also a perpendicular. So the side opposite to this angle A is the perpendicular. Right? So we will take perpendicular as P. Okay? Perpendicular. Now, now what if which is the side adjacent to angle A? The side adjacent to angle A is AB. Right? And AB is also the base. So the side adjacent to angle A is also the base of the angle A. Right? So we will, we will write base as B. Okay, B. And what is AC? AC is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse we will write as H. And now, over here, you can see sin A cos A. For sin A and cos A, we need the hypotenuse. But we don't know what is the value of the hypotenuse. So now, we are going to find out what is the value of hypotenuse. So we are going to find it out by the Pythagoras theorem. We are going to write by Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So what do you know? What is the Pythagoras theorem? It is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay. Now for here, again we are going to write or. AC square is equal to AB square. What is AB? AB is 24. 24 square. 24 square plus what is BC square? This is what is BC? BC is 7 centimeter. Then BC square will be 7 square. Okay. Or AC square is equal to what is 24 square? 24 square is 576. 24 square is 576. Plus 7 square is 49. Or AC square is what? 5, 576 plus 49. What is it? It is 6 plus 9 is 5. 1, 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 2, plus 1 is 2, 2, and 1, 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay, so AC squared is 625. Or, or AC is equal to. root 625 then what is root 625 root 625 is 25 or ac is equal to 25 centimeter okay 25 centimeter so we have found uh, found, found out the hypotenuse what is it it is 25 centimeter let's write it down Okay, so now 
Now we are going to do what is sine A, what is cos A, what is sine C, what is cos C. So now let's find out what is sine A and cos A. We are going to find out number 1 first. Sine A. So what is sine A? We know that sine is, is, is perpendicular by hypotenuse, right? P by H. Over here, let's write it. Sine A is P by H. What is P by H? P is 7 and H is 25. So, this is the answer of sine A. What is sine A? Sine A is 7 by 25. Okay? Now, let's find out cos A. What is cos A? Cos A is B by H, base by hypotenuse, okay? B by H. What is B? B is 24 centimeter and what is H? H is 25 centimeter. So we are going to write 24 by 25. This is cos A, okay? Now let's move to number 2. Number 2, sine C. What is sine C? Over here, we have this sine A is per per perpendicular by hypotenuse. For every sine, it is perpendicular by hypotenuse. But in sine C, you can see we, are, we will do the, all the trigonometric ratios in respect to angle C. Now, we are going to do all the trigonometric ratios in respect to angle C. Now, in respect to angle C, which is the side uh, which is the side opposite to angle C? The side opposite to angle C is AB. And what is the side opposite to angle? What is the side opposite to an angle known as? It is known as perpendicular. So now in respect to angle C, perpendicular is AB. It is not BC, it is AB. In respect to angle A, it was BC. But in respect to angle C, it is AB. So now it will not be base, it will be perpendicular, P. And now, in respect to angle C, which is the side adjacent to angle C? It is BC, right? It is BC. And what is the side adjacent to an angle known as? It is known as base, right? So over here, it will not be perpendicular. In respect to angle C, BC is the base. It is not AB. BC is the base. Okay? It will be base. Now we are again going to find out what is sin C and what is cos C. So in sin C, what is sin? Sin is P by H perpendicular by hypotenuse. Right? So which is the P now? Which is the perpendicular now? It is 24 cm. And hypotenuse is 25 cm. So it will be 24 cm by 25 cm. 24 by 25. And cos C. Cos C is what? Cos C is B by H. B by H. So what is B? B is 7. And what is H? H is 25. So now cos C will be 7 by 25. Okay, so we have completed the first, we have completed the first question of exercise 8.1 because we have found out, found out the answers, right? So now let's move to question number 2. Now let's move to the second question. In figure 8.13, you can see this is the figure 8.13, point tan P minus cot R. So over here, you can see PQ is 12 cm, PR is 13 cm and now we need to find QR. To solve this, we need QR, we need the length of QR. So now we are going to find out QR. We are going to find out QR by the help of Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem, what is the Pythagoras theorem? 
right? PR square is equal to QR square plus PQ square. Now we need to find QR, so we're going to move QR to this side. QR square is equal to PR square minus PQ square, right? Now, what is QR square and then PR square? What is PR? PR is 13 and then PR square will be 13 square minus PQ square. What is PQ? PQ is 12, then PQ square will be 12 square. What is 13 square? 13 square is 169. Okay. And what is 12 square? 12 square is 144. Okay. What is 169 minus 144? 9 minus 4 is 5. 6 minus 4 is 2. Okay. So 169 minus 144 is 25. Or QR is equal to what is QR is equal to QR is equal to root 25 then what is QR is equal to root 25 is what root 25 is 5 so QR is equal to 5 QR is equal to 5 centimeter the length of QR is 5 centimeter we have found out what is the length of QR. Okay, now let's find out what is tan P minus cot R. So, what is tan P minus cot R? Is equal to. So, what is the formula of tan? What is tan? Tan is the ratio of perpendicular by base, right? P by B minus. And what is cot? Cot is equal to B by P, right? B by P. Now, tan P means we have to find it in respect to angle P, right? We have to find it in respect to angle P. In respect to angle P, which is the perpendicular, if you see in respect to angle P, the perpendicular is QR. What is the perpendicular? It is QR. What is QR? QR is 5 cm. And what is base? In respect to angle P, what is the base? The base is PQ, right? 12 cm. So P is what? P is 5 cm perpendicular. And what is base? Base is 12 cm. Now let's find out cot R. So now for here you can see now we have to find it in respect to this angle, angle R. So with respect to this angle, angle R, which is the base, 5 is the base, right? 5 cm QR is the base, so 5 cm is the base. And in respect to angle R, which is the perpendicular, 12 is the perpendicular. Now it is still cot R, it means base by perpendicular. So base is what 5 cm and perpendicular is what 12 cm so what it will be 5 by 12 right so we are going to write out what is cot r it is 5 by 12 okay now what is 5 by 12 minus 5 by 12 it is 0 of course so the answer of tan p minus cot r is 0 Okay, this is the answer. So now let's move to the next question. Now let's solve the question number 3. If sine A is equal to 3 by 4, calculate cos A and tan A. Okay, if sine A is equal to 3 by 4, calculate cos A and tan A. We are going to do in respect to this angle, angle A. Okay, now. We know that sin A is equal to 3 by 4. We know that sin A. 
So first, what is sine A? Sine A is perpendicular by hypotenuse, right? So what is the perpendicular? BC by AC. Right? BC by AC is sine A. And we know that sine A is also equal to 3 by 4. Right? So from here, now we are going to say that let BC be 3K and AB be 4K. Okay? AC be 4K. Now, now we can write BC. BC is 3K and AC is 4K. Now, now we need to find out what is AB. Okay, now we need to find out what is AB. For cos A, right? Cos A, uh, for cos A and tan, tan A, we need to find out the base. So now, we are going to find out AB by Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem, what is the Pythagoras theorem? Right? We need to find out AB. AB square is what? AC square minus BC square. What is AC? AC is 4K. AC square is 4K whole square. Minus what is BC? 3K. Then what is what is BC? 3K. Then what is BC square? 3K whole square. Okay, what is 4 square? 4 square is 16. Right? And K square, 16 K square minus 9. 9 K square. Now what is AB square? What is 16 minus 9? What it will be? It will be 7K square, right? 16 minus 9 is what? 7. 7K square. AB is equal to. What will AB be equal to? Root 7K square. AB is equal to. Now over here, we cannot take out 7 from here. But we can take out K from here, right? Root K square is what? Root K square is K. Then we can write it as K. And then we are going to write root 7. Okay? So the answer is K root 7. What is AB? AB is K root 7, right? Now let's find out cos A and tan A. So first is what cos A. So what is cos? Cos is base by hypotenuse. So B by H. Right? What is base over here? K root 7 is base over here with respect to angle A. K root 7 is base. And what is the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is 4K. So it will be what? It will be k root 7 by 4k. Over here k will be cut. What remains? Root 7 by 4 is cos a. Then tan a. What is tan A? Tan A is perpendicular by base, P by B. What is the perpendicular? Perpendicular is 3K. And what is the base? Base is K root 7. 
From here, K will be cut. What term is 3 by root 7? So this is the answer of cos A and tan A. We have completed root number 3. Now let's move to question number 4. Now let's move to the fourth one. That is given 15 cot A is equal to 8. 15 cot A is equal to 8. Find sine A and sec A. This is the angle A. You can see over here we know 15 cot A is equal to 8. And then find it sine A sine A and sec A. Now, we are going to write it down. Right? Or, if 15 cot A is equal to 8, then what is cot A? Cot A will be equal to 8 by 15, right? 15 we go, will go here. Right? And now, we also know, we know that cot A, cot A is equal to what? What is cot A? Cot A is what? B by P, base by perpendicular, which is the base over here. This is the base. AB is the base and BC is the perpendicular, right? So, right? AB by BC, base by perpendicular is equal to what we have got? 8 by 15, right? Now, we are going to write, let AB be 8K and BC be 15K. So AB is what? 8K and BC is what? 15K. Okay. Now, now we need to find AC in order to find sine A and sec A. So now let's find out AC. By Pythagoras theorem we will do. By Pythagoras theorem, what is the Pythagoras theorem? AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Right, what is AB square plus BC square? AB square is equal to 8K. 8K whole square. Plus what is BC square? BC square is equal to 15K. BC is equal to 15K. Then BC square will be equal to 15K whole square. Right? Now, what will be 8 square? What is 8 square? 64. 64k square. Plus, and what is 15 square? 15 square is 2 to 5. 225. 2 to 5k square. What is 64 plus root 225? 5 plus 4 is 9. 6 plus 2 is 8. And 2. 289 k square. Now. Or. AC is equal to. Root 289 k square. Right? So what is root 289? We know. That 17 into 17 is 289. So 17 square is 289. Then root 289 is what? 17. 17. And then k square. Root k square is what? K. So we have we have found out what is AC. What is the length of AC? The length of AC is 17k. Okay. Now let's find out what is sin A and sec A. Now let's find out sin A. Sin A is what? So what is sin A? Sin A in respect to this angle. It is perpendicular and it is hypotenuse. 
So what is sine? Sine is perpendicular by hypotenuse, right? What is P? In respect to angle A, what is perpendicular? 15 K. What is hypotenuse? It is 17 K. K will be cut. So the answer is 15 by 17. Now let's solve this sec A. Sec A. What is sec A? Sec A is hypotenuse by base, right? Hypotenuse by base, H by B. What is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is 17, 17K by what is base? Base is 8K. K will be cut. This is the answer. 17 by 8. Sign A is 15 by 17 and sec A is 17 by 8. So we have completed the question number 4. In the next video, we are going to start from question number 5. If you like this video, click on like button and to stay with me, please click on subscribe button. Thank you.